you want to take a field trip that's really local and explore lots of neat animal habitats and ecosystems, you don't have to go any further than your backyard. Just in a regular backyard, there's plenty of places for animals to hide, find food, find water, and so we're going to explore some of those today. So we just happen to be sitting in an old wood pile, and those are common in parks and at the edges of properties. And so what's under wood? Well, if you've ever picked up a piece of wood outside, you notice that it's wet under there. And so some things like the wet, like roly-polies, worms, stuff like that. So a good place to find easy wildlife is just right under a log. So I have a log here, and I'm pretty sure that if I pick it up, there's going to be something. Not sure what, but we'll find out. So under this one, wow, we got a whole horde of worms there and some little roly-polies. Now the roly-polies are always under the logs because they're actually crustaceans. They have actually breathe through gills. So they need a wet area so they can actually breathe. This is a best beetle. They live in wood that's not freshly cut down but is a couple of years dead basically. And they like to eat the dead rotting wood and that's what they feed their babies. And they actually s survive as family units. These aren't little guys that live on their own. They actually take care of their babies. So they live in family groups. And here's the kind of stuff they do to the wood. You see all these big holes, like right here. That's what they do. They eat out the soft parts of the wood. So they'll be there for a while until all the soft parts are gone. And then they'll move on to another somewhat recently dead tree. Here we have more of the family of best bugs. And then look at all these little termite guys. You can tell they're termites because they don't have a waste like an ant does. And they eat a bunch of dead logs and all that. But they have a job. They're not just there to ruin your house. They're there to help clean up and help things decompose. Because if we didn't have decomposers and stuff that likes to eat dead and rotting things, we'd be up to our waste and leaves and dead twigs and stuff. So they have a purpose in the ecosystem. All right, another really neat thing about fallen logs is that sometimes they have a hollow in them. And so that would be a nice little place if you were trying to raise a family or if you were wanting to get out of the weather or if you were hiding from a predator, you could go hide inside a hollow log. Or if you're really small, like a baby rabbit, you don't even have to have a big log to hide in. I've seen them coming out of this grass. So sometimes in here there will be a baby rabbit and, or even a big rabbit and you'll see them dart out. So that's a good place to hide away from the eyes of hawks and stuff like that. So there we have it. Even in your own backyard, there's plenty to see in terms of habitats for wild animals. You've got shrubs for birds. You've got big grasses for small mammals. You've got decaying wood for the decomposers. You even have a place where a fox could curl up and wait out a rainstorm. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.